guys, welcome to today's video. I have been toying with this idea for a while, basically doing a sort of throwback video. So I'm going to be talking about a favourites video which I posted three years ago. I have a screenshot here which is so not flattering. Um, so this is my March favourites video from 2014 and I thought I would just sort of talk about these products and tell you if I still like them, if I've used them in the last three years. Um, and kind of give an update. I thought it would just be a fun idea to kind of talk back about that time and see if there's anything that still stands because obviously I make favourites videos or I've made a lot of favourites videos since then and products kind of change every month and you sort of just switch things up. If you finish things you might not kind of repurchase them straight away and then you kind of start to forget. So I thought it would be fun for me to kind of see how I still feel about these products now um, to see if they're still favourites and back in 2014 I really hadn't found my makeup preferences. I was still kind of new to makeup, I'd say I was probably maybe a year into really getting into makeup to wearing a lot, buying more. I had a really cute small makeup collection and I just hadn't tried out that many things. I still have loads of stuff I haven't tried but I've kind of like found myself a lot more now. Um, with what I prefer, what I like. So I thought I would just kind of have a talk about um, what I liked then, the different products. And it's really interesting actually, there's a lot of things I still love um, and then some stuff which I've not used for ages. So let's just get in and talk about it. I'm not sure if I'm going to insert clips of the video or not, maybe I will. Um, it's a little bit embarrassing, um, but maybe. It was literally one of my first videos, like I'd only had my YouTube channel for like a month or so. Um, I was still like so awkward but I will probably leave a link to the video below maybe like hidden in between some other stuff so if you do want to go look at it you can but the first thing I talked about in that video was Lush Lip Scrub um, I remember that was the first pot of Lush Lip Scrub I'd ever bought and it was the Santa's one so it was like the Christmas limited edition one and it was like a revelation to me. I can't remember how I found out about it. I feel like it was a recommendation from a friend. I am still so in love with Lush Lip Scrub. This is my third pot, I think. Um, and this is actually a limited edition one as well. This is from Christmas. It's the Sugar Plum Fairy one. So it's like purple. It smells so good. Um, I love the bubblegum one as well. I use this stuff all the time. This completely changed my lipstick game. And I still just love it. I've tried a few different lip scrubs, but this is my favourite one. I think people say it can be a bit messy, but I just love it. It like exfoliates your lips amazingly. It makes lipstick apply so smooth. Um, I've not found anything quite as good as this. I always repurchase it, and it honestly lasts ages. It has an expiry date on the back. It's usually about a year from um, when they make it. So you can easily keep this for a whole year. You won't use it up. I've thrown away the bubblegum one and I still had probably like half the product left but I just it just expired so I got rid of it but I still love this this is like an all-time favorite of mine um I think I will always love this three years later still going strong with this it's funny how many of these products I still own I still have quite a lot of them um some of them are repurchases this is one of them this is the Revlon color stay foundation I still have this this is a very full coverage matte foundation from the drugstore. I haven't actually used this in a while. I mentioned it in my makeup graveyard video for my foundations, which I'll link for you. And I haven't tried it out since then. I need to give it another go. I'm kind of into my matte foundations recently. I'm not really about um, the shine. I have fairly oily skin, so I kind of like something that's gonna last a long time and will not really show my oil too much. I feel like sometimes I go a bit more glowy in videos, but in real life, I get quite um, paranoid about shine so I really need to give this one another go the most recent time I used it I thought it was a little bit heavy um, but I think it just depends what mood I'm in if I want more of a full coverage then this is great so I think I'm going to try this one again but I do still have it and I have repurchased it since that bottle I had three years ago I think it's a really great foundation in terms of coverage for its price the next thing I mentioned in that video was the body shop honey bronzer and I did end up selling that probably a what like a year or two ago and I haven't used it since. I've found other bronzers since then which I love so I don't know if I would buy that one again but I know I used it for a while and I really did like it and I think it's a good one for fair skin. The next thing I talked about was this little lipstick combo which I still have. This is MAC Cream Cup. 
I used to love this. This was my first MAC lipstick. It's just this really, it's very pink. Um, and I think that's why I don't really reach for it as much anymore. It's been a while. I kind of put this on every now and again. I'll just try it on my lips and I'll just, I'll think about it. I don't wear it that often. I know I used to love this. I think it's something that maybe I'll get out in spring, but it has been a while. But I think because it's a MAC lipstick, you just hold on to it. And this is what I used to top it with. I used to be quite into lip gloss as well. But I think nowadays lip gloss is definitely a bit of a dying trend. It kind of comes and goes, but I don't tend to wear lip gloss very often. I definitely go for more of a lipstick or a liquid lipstick. And this is the same lip gloss which I had three years ago, so I'm not sure I should really be using this anymore. Um, I think I definitely need to declutter my lip product collection. That's kind of next on my list. But this is the Revlon Colour Burst Lip Gloss. It's in Crystal Lilac. It smells the same, I think. But this is kind of a really good match for this lipstick. That's what it looks like there. I had a few of these lip glosses, which I think I still have, which I kind of used to top lots of my lipsticks with. I had this one, I had more of a nude as well. That used to just be my go-to lip choice. I'd always just have a lipstick and top it off with a Revlon lip gloss, and I loved it. Um, so I might have to try this out again, but like I said, this is old, so I'm not sure if I should keep this. But I might just try it on my lips to see how it looks. I used to just love these, I remember. Staying on the pink theme, I mentioned another lip gloss, which I used to love. Um, this is actually a repurchase as well, because I think that one I had in the video, like, broke or something. So this is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige, and it's pink. These smell like cherry, which I love. Cherry is, like, one of my all-time favourite scents. It's a bit sticky, I would say, um, but it's just, again, another pink, and I used to love this as well. I would wear it on its own. Um, I think I preferred this on its own rather than over a lipstick. It's definitely been a while since I've used this. My lip glosses just kind of sit in my drawer a little bit neglected, I have to say. I think this is another one which I will put on occasionally. I used to love it though, I have to try this out again. Please let me know if anyone else kind of loved these products back in the day, because I think this was such a cult classic. I feel like I saw so many YouTubers talk about this specific lip gloss. I feel like it was in all of the favourites videos back then. Um, and everyone just loved it. I love the scent. I love cherry. It's very strong. If you don't like cherry smell, you won't like this. And this is why this is such a fun video to make. It just reminds you of things you used to love. There was a couple of other things in the video which I pretty much have forgotten about. Um, it's been a while since I've used them. I talked about my Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. I remember loving that stuff. Um, it's like two concealers a yellow toned one and a pink toned one and then a setting powder. I remember loving that setting powder especially for under the eyes. Part of me wants to try it again because I know I love the powder and I think you can get the powder um, individually so I'd be tempted to get that. I actually still have the concealers, I just remembered. This is my MAC palette but it's just got random stuff in it. It's a bit of a mess to be honest. But these are the concealers here. And I used to love them for blemishes. They're looking definitely a bit worse for wear. I think I might need to get rid of them. Um, but I loved them. They are pretty gross. I think I'm going to throw those away. I might have to go swatch it in boots and see if it's as good as I remember. I don't think it's that cheap because Soap and Glory is... It's one of those more top-end drugstore products. I think that powder is probably around £10. And then the other thing I mentioned was the Body Shop... Satsuma body butter and I loved that because the scent would just permeate through my room all day um, literally you could smell it for hours and that's why I loved it and I love orange scented things but I haven't used that since I have so many moisturizers that I don't tend to buy them anymore because I just don't need them but I know body shop body butters are amazing definitely would recommend I mentioned a Tresemme conditioner is the split remedy conditioner. I haven't repurchased that since, but I remember it helped with my split ends. And then finally, the last two things which I mentioned, which I still have. This is the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. Um, I have loads of these because they come in like Clinique bonus time and free gifts, that kind of thing. So I just kind of have this big backlog of these. Um, I don't really like this on my face or it's like not my favorite. It's fine to remove makeup, but it's just not my favorite. But I've actually been using it to clean my brushes. And that works really well, so I'm still liking this for something slightly different. I feel like when I mentioned it in, my, in that video, 
It must have been for my face, not for my brushes, because I've only just started using it for brushes. I don't think I've watched the whole video through. I was kind of debating whether to do this with two years ago or three years ago. Um, so I watched some of my like 2015 favourites videos and then started watching 2014, so I got like a bit confused. I watched so many of my own videos. But yeah, I don't really use this for my face. I have other things which I just love so much more. But it's great for cleaning brushes, so if you have any like cleanser lying around that you don't particularly like to clean your face, then that's a good way just to use it up. And then the final thing I mentioned was this nail polish, which is somehow still kicking around. This is from Rimmel, it's the I Love Lasting Finish Nail Polish in Marshmallow Heaven. And it's such a pretty colour, this is definitely a spring shade. I don't really know how I still have the same bottle of this, that's kind of crazy. It must be almost finished, I use this quite a lot. Um, but I really like this shade, I like these kind of colours. I've been a bit more adventurous with my nails recently, as I have mentioned a couple of times, but my favourites are nudes and then probably purples and reds, um, so this is definitely my kind of shade. So that's all of my favourites from March 2014, um, rounded up. I hope you enjoyed this video, I think it's fun to look back and just kind of see how you've progressed. Um, and what kind of things you prefer now. It's funny how I still own a lot of these things, I have repurchased a few of them and I still love some of them. Some of them it, it's just a nice reminder to kind of go back and try them again and other things obviously have kind of moved on from and changed up to other things which is obviously going to happen especially in the space of three years, that's such a long time. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, I enjoyed making it, it's fun to look back. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. I will see you in my next video, bye!